Absolutely terrifying, a mother's plea for help. Her five-year-old girl was taken by thieves. You see it right here in the video where he jumps out of the blue car. They stole the family car from a gas station. Just absolutely awful, but thankfully that child was found safe two hours later. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Courtney Zeller is live at the Cumberland Farms in Wolcott where all of this went down. And Courtney, you actually spoke to someone who witnessed this entire situation unfold. I did, and he says he wishes he had done more. I have chills listening to that 911 call, and you're going to hear more of it in just a moment. But the girl's 11-year-old brother was also in that SUV. He jumped out. Then he started chasing the vehicle, and that's when those calls came pouring into 911. What's the location? Yo, yo, somebody just stole somebody's car and a little kid is in a car. Frantic 911 calls to police and the crime is caught on surveillance video. Watch this blue car pull into a parking spot at the Cumberland Farms in Woolcott. You'll see a person jump out of the back seat and get into the driver's side of a running silver SUV. Both vehicles start to take off. It was pretty crazy. The suspect driving the silver SUV hits a parked car. Watch when the SUV briefly stops. An 11 year old boy with a cast on his foot jumps out of the SUV and then he starts chasing the vehicle. That's because his little sister, who is five, is in the back seat. Um, he was screaming. He was screaming for his mother and uh, he started chasing after the car and he actually ripped his cast off um, while he was going down the road chasing the car. We exclusively talked to eyewitness Mike Mazzotti, who saw it all unfold. It was crazy. The mother was screaming at the kid, like, why did you get out and, you know, leave your sister alone and everything. And it was just really, like, scary, something you really don't expect to see all the time or at all. Police tell us the mother left the car running while going inside the store to buy gift cards for her son's teacher. It all happened at the Meriden Road gas station around 1130 at night. Police found the vehicle and the child on No Wood Drive in Wilkett hours later. The child was sleeping in the back seat. I left my car. son. I thought, you know, I told him to lock the door and he didn't lock the door. So this was the worst. It was like a nightmare. We were there when the mother and daughter were reunited. I'm like holding my daughter. I'm still shaking and I'm just <clears throat> so happy to hold her and kiss her. And I love you. Now, police are still looking for the suspects. That blue car you saw in that surveillance video, that was reported stolen out of Waterbury yesterday. Police tell us today that they found that car uh, actually this afternoon in Southbury. Now, there is a Connecticut law about leaving children unattended in a vehicle. So will the mother face any charges? That's coming up tonight at 6 o'clock. We're live from Wilkett, Courtney's Elder Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Courtney's terrifying story. Thank you so much. Eyewitness